Hello, my little woolies. Finally, we are knitting a project. And in today's tutorial, you will learn how to knit a baby kimono or a cardigan or jacket step by step. So pretty. This pattern comes in two sizes. Zero to three months. This is the one that I haven't finished and you will see me knitting it uh, on this video. And the other one is six to nine months, approximately. The baby kimono has standard measurements, but not all babies are the same size at a specific age. So it's important to check them before starting. For example, the largest size could also fit a 12 month old child. You will find the written instructions as usual on my website, sowoolly.net, and there is a link for you below this video on the description box. And there you will also find the link to the second video that I think I will publish in one or two days time. For this project we will need seven US size or 4.5 millimeter knitting needles. Although we won't be knitting in the round, I recommend circular needles for this project because it will make it easier to pick up stitches and knit the edge. Although we will be knitting forth and back as usual, not in the round. You could also use straight needles if you want. Uh, also for the largest size 200 grams of cashmere and for the smallest size 100 grams of cashmere. Tapestry needle, ruler or measurement tape, scissors and three little bottoms of one centimeter diameter. Before doing anything else, you should need a gauge swatch. The gauge for this pattern is a 4x4 four four inches or 10x10 10 10 centimeters square knitted in a stockinette stitch has 21 stitches and 31 rows. This is crucial. Rule of thumb. If your gauge is different, the size of your baby kimono will be too. So please go and knit a swatch. We will start knitting the back side. For the smallest size, I'm going to cast on 39 stitches. You can use the cast on method you prefer. I always like to use the long tail cast on method. And please remember to read the pattern first so you will understand the whole construction. So we will start with the ribbing using the broken rib stitch that we practiced some time ago. Really easy, it's just knit one, purl two, one, two. This is the repeat, knit one, purl two. This is an one row knitting pattern. So these three steps will be repeated all the time. Knit one, purl two. So keep going to the end of the row, ending with knit one, purl two. But only on this first row, the last one, I like to purl it, like to purl it through the back loop. So you don't get a huge loop there. The second row is the same. Pretty easy, no? Knit one, purl two. One, two. And repeat. Knit one, purl two. One. 
knit one, purl two, two, and keep repeating the same steps to the end of the row. Here I'm finishing knit one, purl two, one, two, knit one, purl two, one, two. So we have knitted two rows, knit two rows more, and when you have completed four rows, we start knitting the stockinette section. So first row, knit every stitch this is the right side of the work just knit every stitch to the end of the row. Second and every even row we're going to purl every stitch. The complete row is just purling. So keep purling to the end of the row. Next row, right side of the work. It's again, knit every stitch. Every odd row will be knitted. Every even row will be purled. Next row, wrong side of the work, purl every stitch. So keep repeating these two rows until this section in a stockinette stitch measures 12.5 centimeters, ending with a wrong side row. The piece measures 14.5 centimeters in total. To shape the armholes, we're going to knit one, knit the next, and pass one stitch over. We have bind of one stitch knit the next and pass the stitch over. So two stitches closed or bind off. Keep knitting to the end of the row. Just knit every stitch as before. And now for the other armhole we're going to bind off two stitches. So purl one Purl the next and pass one stitch over. Purl another one and pass the stitch over. So we have bind of two stitches and we have to finish this row purling. Purl every stitch to the end of the row.
as before. So keep knitting in stockinette stitch until the piece measures 5 cm from the armhole, always knitting on the right side and purling on the wrong side. Once the armhole measures 5 cm, we are going to knit 13 stitches. Thirteen, And now pass one stitch over, so you will have 11 stitches for the first shoulder, knit one and pass the stitch over. We're going to bind of 13. Always knit and pass the stitch over until you have the central 13 stitches closed. Okay, 13. Now we have 10 and 1, 11 stitches for the other shoulder. So we have split the back, we should have 11 stitches for each shoulder and first we will work one shoulder and then we will work on the next. So turn the work and purl every stitch to the end of the row. Turn the work and we are going to decrease one stitch. So knit one, slip the next knitwise, knit the next and pass the slip stitch over and knit every stitch to the end of the row. Now we have 10 stitches left. Turn the work and purl every stitch to the end of the row. And now turn the work again and Bind off knitwise all the stitches. You should have 10 stitches. So knit one, knit the next, and pass the stitch over. Knit the next, and pass the stitch over. Knit the next, and pass the stitch over. And repeat to the end of the work, to the end of the row. When you get to the last one, pull the yarn, leave a tail around 4 inches and pull the yarn through this last loop to close the shoulder. For the other shoulder, facing the wrong side of the work, attach the yarn coming from the ball, leaving a 10 cm or 4 inches tail, and purl every stitch to the end of the row. Turn the work, 
and knit two last three stitches. We're going to decrease one stitch at the end of the row. When there are three stitches left, knit two stitches together and knit the last one. Turn the work and now purl every stitch to the end of the row. You should have 10 stitches now. And now bind off knitwise. All the stitches need to be bind off. So knit one, knit the next, and pass the stitch over. And repeat. Knit one, pass the stitch over. To the end of the row. And repeat the process. When you get to the last one, leave the tail and pull the yarn through this last loop to close the other shoulder. And congratulations! Now you have the back side of the cardigan. Left front. We are going to repeat the same process as for the back side. Cast on 39 stitches and knit 4 rows in broken rib stitch. Remember, it's just knit 1, purl 2, 1, 2, and repeat until you have completed four rows in broken rib stitch. If you want to watch it again, go to the beginning of the video and watch again the back side, the start, because it's the same. I'm not doing it again because it's going to be a long, long video. After the four rows in the broken rib stitch, we start the first row of our stockinette stitch section, knitting every stitch. This is the right side of the work, so we're going to knit every stitch on every odd row, two last three stitches. When there are three stitches left, knit two together and end the row with knit one we have decreased one stitch. Second row of the stockinette section, as usual, pull every stitch. Every time you are facing the wrong side of the work, or you're working an even row, you're going to pull every stitch, nothing else. From the first, to the last stitch, just purling. Let's do an odd row again. Facing the right side, we are going to knit every stitch as before. until there are only three stitches left and then knit two stitches together and knit the last one. We have decreased another stitch and on row two pull every stitch as before. Okay, now you just have to repeat rows 1 and 2 until the piece measures 
1.5 cm in total, ending with a wrong side row. Now we're going to shape the armhole and we need to bind off two stitches. So we knit one, knit another one and pass the stitch over. Knit another one and pass the stitch over. Two stitches less. And we're going to knit every stitch just as before. When there are three stitches left, knit two together, knit one. The following row is a purl row. And we will continue knitting in stockinette stitch, decreasing on every other row as before, until the piece measures 5 cm from the armhole, ending with a wrong side row. There are 10 stitches left. And now we're going to bind off knitwise as before. So, knit one knit another one and pass the stitch over, knit another one and pass the stitch over and repeat to the end. When you get to the last one, repeat the process. Leave a 10 cm 4 inches tail and pull the yarn through the last loop to close the shoulder and your left front is done. The right front. We are going to repeat the same steps we did for the back and for the left front. Cast on the same number of stitches and knit four rows in broken rib stitch. Remember is knit one Curl two. And repeat until you complete four rows of ribbing. Facing the right side of the work, we are going to knit two, bring the yarn over, slip one knitwise knit the next one and pass the slip stitch over so we have made one buttonhole. We will continue knitting every stitch to last four stitches. When there are four stitches left Knit two stitches together, bring the yarn over and knit two. We have made two buttonholes, one at the end and one at the beginning. The second row is a purl row, so as before just purl every stitch including the yarn over. This will make our buttonhole. So just pour to the end of the row. This is the other buttonhole at the beginning. Now comes the stocking at stitch section. First row. Knit one. Now comes the decrease. Slip one, knit wise. Knit the next and pass the stitch over. And knit every stitch to the end of the row. 
as you can see, for the left front, we were decreasing at the end of that row. For the right front, we will be in decreasing at the beginning of the, of the row. Okay, that was row one of our stocking it section. Row two, purl every stitch. It's the same. Every time you're facing the wrong side of the work, or you are working at row two, you will be purling. And every time you're facing the right side of the work, or an odd row, you will be knitting and decreasing. So knit one, slip one, as if to knit, knit one, and pass the slip stitch over. And keep knitting every stitch to the end of the row. So repeat these last two rows until the piece measures 6.5 centimeters in total. And now we're going to do another buttonhole row. At the end we're going to do a second buttonhole. So start as usual. Knit one, slip one, knit the next, pass the stitch over, and knit every stitch to last four stitches. When there are four stitches left, knit two stitches together, yarn over, knit two, one and two. The next row is a purl row because we are facing the wrong side of the work. So purl every stitch as before. And keep repeating rows 1 and 2 until the piece measures 14.5 centimeters in total, ending with a wrong side row. To shape the armhole, we're going to bind off two stitches. So, purl one, purl the next, and pass the stitch over. Purl another one and pass the stitch over. And keep purling every stitch to the end of the row. And we will continue knitting in stockinette stitch, decreasing on every other row as before. Knit one, slip one. Knit one and pass the stitch over. And knit every stitch to the end. And the following row is a purl row. So repeat these two rows until the piece measures 5 cm from the armhole, ending with a wrong side row, and you will have 10 stitches in total. And bind off. So knit one. Knit the next and pass the stitch over. Knit the next and pass the stitch over. And continue doing so to the end of the row. When you get to the last one, remember, leave a tail 10 centimeters or 4 inches long and pull the yarn through the last loop to close.
the shoulder. And your right front is finished. Congratulations. See you on the second part of the tutorial tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Remember, you will have the link below the video on the description box. Happy knitting!